Hello. Um, in this video I'm going to open my brand new Lee Nielsen 51 shooting board plane. Um, it's the only plane I know which comes in a box which is screwed on. Um, pretty substantial bit of kit. So what we'll do is just go through what you get in the box and um, have a quick go on my trusty old shooting board. Let's hope it fits. Okay, inside we've got uh, some information. Okay, so inside the box you've immediately got um, a shooting board drawings so you can make your own board, which is really useful. And I'm sure you can find alternatives online or in a book. And then inside, the desiccant. Is the plane. And this, ooh. okay, there's more wood. Comb jointed wood to hold it all in place. So that's basically the plane. I'll use if I get on the other side. Oops. There you go. So that's the Lee Nielsen number 51, this is a right handed one. The observant amongst you will realise that I'm left handed mainly. Um, this is a left handed Rubo bench and uh, funnily enough I've always used the shooting board right handed so I went for the right handed. It's just for some weird reason I've, I'm, I'm obviously not 100% left handed but it just feels easier to push with my right. Why that is, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm holding the workpiece with my left hand. I have no idea. Anyway, so I've gone for the right one. This is my old shooting board. It's based on Robert Waring's design in his book. Although it's not exactly the same, it's got a wear strip and then um, an adjustable fence. So this is not ideally set up for my bench. I've had this for a number of years. It works really well. But it just needs, I think, the strip. If I move it to the other side, then I can put it in here so that I can have the plane on the bench side. But for the moment, I'm going to have to put it around this way. Before we go to the shooting board, let's have a look at the plane specification. It's got a skewed blade which is 2 and 3 8 inches wide with a 25 degree primary bevel, to which you can then add a 30 degree secondary bevel. It has an A2 cryogenically treated blade which is double tempered steel. The body is 15 inches long by 3 and 9 16 inches wide and has a shoulder height of 2 and 1 8 of an inch and made from stress relieved cast ductile iron. The plane has a bedrock adjustment and it has an 8 inch thick chip breaker and a manganese bronze cap. The sole and side are machined by a surface grinder so they are flat and square within about 1.5 thou. Okay so I've got the shooting board in the tail vise on the bench here using the dogs. Holds it quite nicely. This is a piece of ash. I think this is square from what I measured a minute ago. I've not used this at all yet. So let's adjust it. I believe it should be ready to use out of the box. It's a very heavy plane, that's for sure. I'll just get a slither of wood. Okay, so I found this uh, off cut wood. Let's just see. Okay, that's taking a fine shaving. Straight out of the box. I've not done a thing. See how it fits on here. So you can see how this is awkward for a, a left-handed person, well even for a right-handed person, for anybody to do it this way around. So I need to turn this around at some point. I think 
this um, ash board is quite square. Yeah. Well, you can see how fine the shavings are. This is um, this is another level. I mean, I was using the Lee Nielsen One Six Four, which is a small, smoother bevel up smoother um, with a low angle, and um, it does very well with end grain. But this, once I've got a support on this side to prevent the plane from moving, and I've got it around the correct way, I think this will be fantastic. Not bad Ugh, for a first go. Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. Wow. Okay, so I've now put a, um, you can hopefully see here, just clean that off. Oh, there you go. Let's just cut the <laughs> brush. Now put a 30 degree, sharpened it to 30 degrees because the um, when I when the blade comes, it comes with just a 25 degree primary um, grinding. So you have to put on a, a secondary bevel, and that's now at 30 degrees. And I've done that with the scary sharp method on my lighting glass. So now. Um, Now we're getting beautiful shavings. No problems at all. And an excellent finish as well. So that's it, the Lee Nielsen 51 shooting board plane. It is a phenomenal piece of equipment and a lot easier to shoot with than a conventional plane. Especially with a sharpened blade. Okay, that's the Lee Nielsen 51 shooting ball plane. Um, as much as I've tested it, I haven't used it uh, in any great depth yet, but hope to do so soon. I'd like to make a new shooting board to replace this old one. Um, I may come back and do a follow-up video on that. But I think yes, it's expensive. However, it's a lot easier to use than a conventional hand plane, and the, the weight of it and the the fact that the blade can be sharpened as you would do for a normal hand plane so it's just a basic 30 degree um, secondary bevel I think it's a, a, a great bit of kit so anyway I hope this has helped you if you're deciding on getting a Lee Nielsen 51 shooting ball plane or a shooting ball plane maybe it helps you to compare it to a competitor's plane um, but anyway that's all I've got for this video and um, if you like it please press the like or if you have any comments questions you know what to do um, otherwise uh, if you haven't subscribed already that would be great if you could subscribe and I'll see you next time in the next video thanks a lot bye thanks for watching and if you like what you see here and you're new to this channel please subscribe for more updates as they become available otherwise you can follow me on Instagram Twitter or Pinterest so that would be greatly appreciated thanks and see you again soon